Hey guys, this is B-Cell92, and today I'm going to show you how to make your towing mirrors, the ones from like 1A Auto or AM that have the amber lights down the side, I'm going to show you how you can make those dual function as running lights and blinkers, kind of like how the Fords or um, I forget the other model truck that has them. Okay, real quick, I'm going to show you what's going to have to be done. I already pre-made these. I can make these for you and send them to you if you are interested for, you know, a small price. Or if you want to make them yourself, they're pretty easy to make. This blue wire has a diode in the middle feeding this way, so the power can only come out up here. It cannot back feed. It's just a diode from Radio Shack. And this wire is the same way. It has a diode that only allows it to go through this way and not back. But this light also, or excuse me, this wire also has a 68 ohm resistor right here. So when we solder this in, parking lights will be a little bit dimmer than a full blinker. So when you turn the blinker on, they'll get bright, then dim again, bright, then dim. And this is going to be soldered in on your mirror harness to this blue wire with a white stripe. This is going to be cut in so the power can go this way but not come back. Okay, I'm back. And now you can see right here, I took the harness that I... Actually, I'll show you another one. Uh, where is it? Right here. This is the same harness as the one that's I just soldered in. I picked blue because you're supposed to go into the blue and white wire. You can see right there. I'll focus for you. There it is. You can see it's tapped into the blue and white. So, this one right here is going to be hooked up to a wire that's going to come off of a parking light. And it will feed through here to the mirror so they're dim when the parking lights are on. And then this one, the straight one, is going to be the blinker. So, I'm going to run my parking light wire and I'll come back and show you guys it, that afterwards. Okay. Okay, so I just ran the parking wire. The easiest way to do this is to tap into the parking lights. I know that seems like a pain to run a wire, but all the ones in the door don't really have enough amperage to have any extra wire power being pulled from them. So, tapped in here, ran it along here, up, now, under this, this is a, G, a Sierra, by the way, if that makes a difference. Most of these uh, are pretty much the same anyway, but it runs along here. You can't really, there it is again. Goes down under, sorry, the plow harness, and you're not going to be able to see that. But there's a hole in the wall of factory grommet. There's two. There's a big one and a smaller one. Runs through the smaller one, and then comes out of the dash way up back there that's where the grommet is comes over just kind of wire tied up here and then it's going to stop right here now this is going to have to one's going to have to go into this door and then i'm going to have to run one across under the dash come out over there for that door but that mirror is not done yet so i'm going to run right now i'm going to run a wire from here down, it's going to follow this factory harness behind the speaker through this, and it's going to tie into this. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so I've run my parking light wire. I tapped into this brown wire, like I said. It goes here. Over here, it jumps over to the main harness, and I ran it down along with everything. In here, behind the speaker. And it comes up through here. See, you want it to go through this grommet. You don't want to make any holes in this because this needs to be watertight. Goes in there. And then it comes through right here into the cab. So you're going to have to do that. And it's going to get tapped into our original red wire, which is going to be the parking lights. So I'm going to get this all cleaned up and uh, tap these two in. And then I will show you it working before we begin 
that side. Okay, doors back together. I ran the wire right up here and it tapped in, give me a second and I'll get the flash. It tapped in uh, right there. See the black right there, which is the parking light wire. So it ran the red wire going that way in through the grommet to the door. So now I'll show you the, uh, I'm gonna turn the marker lights on. Okay, now I'm going to run a wire under the dash to the other side, rip that door apart, and do this mirror. Okay, passenger door all taken apart, mirror is mounted. Um, we're going to have to do the same thing on this side. The video is going to be sped up a little now because I've showed you on that side already what we're doing. This side is the same process. That blue wire right there with the white stripe. We're going to cut into that with the diodes and the resistors that I explained earlier in the video. We're going to do the exact same thing and run the power down behind the speaker through that again. And here's the wire that I brought over from the driver's side. So I'm going to get to it and I'll do another video in a couple minutes. Okay guys, I just kind of finished this one because I already explained this on that side. I wasn't even going to do a video, but I ran into a little problem over here, so I'm going to explain to you how to get around it. Same thing. Run the red wire down through there. Um, goes up through the grommet. And on this side, to get it through, it's got to come through. There's a little hole right here where the, this green wire comes through. But to get to it, you need to pop the trim pieces off. So this has to come off. Normally sits there. After you get that one off and out of the way, this one comes off the wall. Then you can pull it through, solder it in, and I don't know if you guys can see that, but the wire runs right along here, solders in, and it's done. So I'm going to put this back together real quick, and then I'll do a demonstration in the garage and outside because it's 10 o'clock at night, so it'll be a nice dark video. Okay. Okay, you can see that one works. Now we're going to go over the other side. That one works. Okay, I'll do a video when I get it outside. Okay, I'm going to show you them at night now, I guess. Shit. Okay. All right. Well, that concludes this tutorial. If you have any questions about this, um, feel free to message me. It's pretty simple, as complicated as it looks. It's really not. Um, yeah. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.